If you're wanting to improve on your running technique and finding some gym exercises to improve on your running, you need to be incorporating exercises that focus on stabilizing or squaring up through your hips while also adding in some rotation up top. When we walk and when we run, your hips should stay square facing forwards as your legs swing through. And then to counterbalance, you should get your arms on the opposite side swinging through in a little bit of shoulder or thoracic rotation. The shoulder rotation and the arm swing counterbalances what happens down here to keep you stable and upright on your feet. Now, anatomically speaking, this happens this way because your lower back doesn't rotate, your lumbar spine doesn't twist. It flexes forwards and extends backwards, and it also flexes side to side, but it doesn't twist. All the rotation movement comes from our mid-back or our thoracic spine. That's because the weight of one leg going forwards and backwards cannot be counterweighted by just swinging your arms. So you need to get a little bit of rotation up top as well. Now this movement is exacerbated or exemplified when we start striding out further by walking faster or running faster. Therefore, if you're wanting to improve on your running technique and finding some gym exercises to improve on your running, you need to be incorporating exercises that focus on stabilizing or squaring up through your hips while also adding in some rotation up top. Sling systems are areas of connective tissue which join different segments in the body that when used and trained well, help improve upon the efficiency of your movement. Now our most dominant sling system that helps propel us forwards when we run is called your posterior oblique sling system. Your posterior oblique sling system incorporates your lat tissue up into your shoulder. It runs down your spine or down your back and when it gets to your lower back, it crosses over and then attaches into the opposite glute and hamstring. So then what, that hap what happens is, as you contract through your glute to propel you forward, the opposite lat will contract to pull your shoulder back and rotate through your spine. And that whole chain of that hip and opposite shoulder contracts together to propel you forwards. And then the same thing happens on the other side as you step through the other way. If we're focusing then on trying to find exercises in the gym that improve on your running, you wanna be using exercises that incorporate these sling systems or this posterior oblique sling system where you're contracting through one hip or one glute and the opposite shoulder at the same time while stabilizing through your hips and rotating up through your shoulders. One of the best gym exercises that you can do to improve on the strength and functionality of that posterior oblique sling system is a lunge to cable row. So what you wanna do is get a cable system and set it up at about the height of your hip. The weight doesn't have to be too heavy for this one. 15 to 20 kilos is typically the weight that we would use. Set up a step and then face towards the cable. Now you wanna set yourself up into a lunge stance position so that when you do lunge down to the ground, you can comfortably tap your back knee to the floor while keeping most of your weight over this front leg. The back foot's more of a stability leg. Now what you wanna do is contract the glute on your stance leg, your front leg, and the lat of the opposite shoulder at the same time. So as we come down, you're stretching through that front glute, so you also wanna stretch and relax out through that right shoulder. As I stand and push through my left glute, I'm also pulling with my right lat, my right shoulder, and when I get to the end, I'm rotating back, 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 without my hips coming through with it. Now, that's the key mistake that people make when they do any sort of movement like this. As they pull, they'll let their hips rotate with it. Yes, you are rotating up top, but because the hips are now coming back with it, you're not getting that rotation movement happening through the thoracic spine compared to the lower back, so you're not really getting that sling system working properly. What you need to do is when you stand up tall, you're trying to actively push the right hip forwards if I'm standing on my left stance leg to keep my hips square facing forwards and really pull and rotate that shoulder around and twist up top. Then you come back down, stretch the arm out, lean forwards, tap the knee down. Stand, pull, come back down. Stand, pull, come back down. Again, we're not letting your hip rotate backwards. As we come up, we are pushing the hip forwards to keep your hips steady facing forwards and rotating that shoulder backwards. So recapping what that looks like, you get into a lunge stance that's comfortable enough so that your back knee can gently come down to the floor while your body stays mainly over your front leg. 
As you're standing, the opposite arm to the leg that you're standing on will pull the cable back and try and rotate your shoulders without your hip rotating back with it. Stretch out, rotate, hip stay square. Stretch, pull, rotate shoulders. Stretch, squeeze. Stretch, squeeze. Now what looks wrong is letting the hip come back with it. Don't let the hip come back with it. So I stand, push my right hip forwards as I'm rotating and back down. The lunge to cable row gym exercise aims to improve your running efficiency and technique. Therefore, we wanna aim for a rep range of 20 to 25 repetitions per set to help and build on the strength endurance of those running muscles and that posterior sling system. As you get better at that exercise within this rep range, it will then translate over nicely into improving your running form and efficiency for a longer period of time without you breaking down. So now you've learned a little bit more about the mechanics of walking and running and how you can use a gym exercise to help improve the functionality of that movement. If you have any questions about anything that we've gone over today, feel free to leave a comment or flick me a message and I'll get back to you.